Yeah, it was such a new programming language that there were uh, no debugging tools. We had to send people over to Ireland, where the language had originally been done, to work with them to try to figure out debugging tools and things like that. Uh, in my opinion, it made the project, and I was a computer, you know, I had a master's degree in computer science, so I knew a little bit about the programming language. Um, I think it made the project just that much more complicated and that much more difficult to get out of time. Those are the two things that I would change. I'm sorry. Cat enthusiasts. So this is 1981, and you're having a really new product that's pretty advanced at that time. So, any technical challenges? Like oh, for doing the original product? What was that actually? I like both the Eric's cat tools at the time. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the first technical challenge um, <clears throat> uh, was to find a platform for it to run on. There were, there were two other competitors at the time, a company called Daisy Systems and a company called Valid Logic. Um, the one was out of Intel, I can't remember the other was out of it. <clears throat> and, um, uh, and they decided to build their own computer. Um, I worked at a computer company and I felt very strongly that it's very different building a computer than it is building a set of application software. You know, I, I, I was the fourth operating system programmer from the left, and so I thought I'd do some of this stuff. And, 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 and I refused to let us build a computer. And we were just lucky that we happened to find Apollo Computer at the same time we were getting going. That was just unfortunate. <coughs> um, so, so the, but the first challenge was to make that work. Because here, here was a brand new company, us, relying on a total startup company back in Massachusetts that was building this product for us, a huge risk a startup relying on a startup. Um, so that was the first technical challenge, um, trying to do that. Uh, the second technical challenge was really just the um, fact that we were creating a, a, a big software application package from scratch that had to work together. That, uh, we, had, we had a model to develop labs of the kinds of things that they'd done, but not what they'd done. And what Jerry Langer and I did is we put together a slideshow. We didn't have a product, and we put together a slideshow. And we took this slideshow out to potential customers, and we sat down, and we turned the slide projector on, and we said, okay, <clears throat> we're building something like this, what do you think? And they'd say, oh, that's good, I don't want that. I'd like three of these and none of that. And then we'd come back, we'd change the slideshow, we'd go back out on the road again. And then when we had the slideshow down to where, you know, it seemed to have some consensus, we turned over the engineers and we'd say, okay, go build this. Um, so the, the technical risk there was just the risk of building a large computer <coughs> program. But we had no his, history that we had to build off of. There was no second system. It was, and the other thing that we were blessed with is we had a small team of people. You know, what they say about computer, computer software projects is the ones that are successful are the ones that are built by small groups of people. And the ones that are not are built by large groups of people. And that's the other thing that we had with at Mentor, we had a large group of engineers trying to rewrite this entire system. I think those are the two main technical challenges that uh, we had out there. Um, uh, you know, we did fine on that and getting out and getting out on time. And, you know, we did our first demo at this hotel in Las Vegas and, and we were doing live demos and, you know, we'd pull it up and the screen and the machine would crash and, you know, the person doing the demo would have to kind of talk around all that. And, uh, but, you know, not much you kind of work your way through that stuff. That's just what part of the game. I, but I think those are the big technical challenges. We didn't know there was any competition at the time. So we didn't pay any attention to what they were doing. We didn't know there was anything. It was pretty inwardly focused or naive. So what, what made you think about politics? Oh, so what made me think about politics? So, um, I grew up in Berkeley, California in the 1960s with a picture of Jack and Bobby Kennedy over my bed in an Irish Catholic uh, family. Um, it, it's, I, was, uh, I was in Berkeley um, and had high school classmates arrested.